Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sucheta Kaul from L.B. Prasad Eye Institute, Hyderabad. I'll be presenting a study on allogenic simple limbal epithelial transplantation in chronic vernal keratoconjunctivitis. So VKC is a bilateral atopic condition with recurrent episodes and chronic inflammation can lead to uh, limbal stem cell deficiency. In the study by Wazirani et al, allergic conjunctivitis was one of the main causes of bilateral LACD. Limbal stem cell transplantation should be considered as a treatment option in bilateral cases of LACD. Ideal criteria of first let are wet ocular surface, no simbleferon, and a clear to translucent corneal stroma. Objective of the study was to assess the outcomes of performing allogenic SLED in patients with bilateral LSCD in chronic VKC. So these patients with bilateral LSCD due to chronic VKC not improving with conservative management, having wet ocular surface were included, and patients having acute episodes of VKC with infections or inflammation were excluded from the study. It is a retrospective observational study which took place from September 2019 to August 2023 and included cases operated by a single surgeon. The sample size was six size of three patients with chronic VKC. Methodology. So after taking a detailed history, serial slit lamp photography and baseline ASOCT was done for the patients. After that, they were given conservative management. Those who failed to get benefit from the conservative management further progressed to surgical management by alloslet. Post-op slit lamp photography and ASOCT was also done. So this was our first patient, which we can see presented to us with total limbal stem cell deficiency with a fibrovascular panels on the surface. Right eye BCVA was 20 by 200, and left eye was counting fingers. This was the ASOCT, which shows thickened cornea with a hypertrophied epithelium, but a clear stroma. The second case presented with right eye BCVA of counting fingers and left eye of hand movement. The ASOCT presented a similar picture. The third case had right eye BCV of finger counting, but the left eye BCV was 20 by 30 owing to the clear central cornea and partial limbal stem cell deficiency seen in the periphery. And this was the ASOCT of the patient. Both the patient, all the patients were given conservative management with chromal fort, taclement, and tapering doses of topical steroids. After giving the conservative management, the patients who did not get much benefit underwent allogenic SLED. So 360 degree perilimbal conjunctival peritomy was done and panels were separated from the cornea. Amniotic membrane was secured with fibrin glue. The limbal stem cells were then harvested by SNP biopsy and the tissue was further cut up into multiple pieces fixed with fibrin glue concentrically over the mid periphery of the cornea. BCL was placed and a temporary tarsurophy was done. Post-op management included tapering doses of steroids, antibiotic, chromal fort, and taclement in all the patients. Also, systemic immunosuppression with tablet Visalon, 1 mg per kg body weight OD in tapering dose, as well as tablet cyclosporin 50 mg BD in two patients, and tablet methotrexate 7.5 mg OD weekly in one patient was given. Results, the three subjects which met the criteria of bilateral LACD out of the six eyes, five of the uh, five eyes went under allogenic sled. Male to female predominance was one is to two. Allergic rhinitis was present in one patient. And out of all the three patients, we can see that all of them had a prolonged duration of symptoms and had a an childhood onset. Histopathologically, the characteristics seen in VKC are as shown in the images. The first image shows a hypertrophic epithelium with epithelium down, down growth as seen by the black arrow. Cellular infiltration is also seen. The second and the third image shows cystic and solid pearls. These same characteristics were also seen in the panels dissected in our cases. So the post of vision for the first patient in right eye improved to 20 by 100, left eye improved to 20 by 50. The second patient right eye improved to 20 by 250 and left eye to 20 by 40. Third patient right eye improved to 20 by 50. So these are the post-op images of our first patient showing clear corneal surface and the ASOCT, which shows the normal corneal uh, thickness as well. This was the second patient for the normal ASOCT and the third patient. So SLET has multidirectional growth of epithelial cells, which consequently merge and form a epithelium over the corneal surface. This process takes 14 days after the surgery. In a study by Shanbagh et al., it was deduced that 
in chronic ocular allergies, allergenic slit with prolonged systemic immunosuppression has benefits in treating bilateral LACD. So to conclude, BKC with advanced bilateral LACD can be successfully managed with allergenic slit. Systemic immunosuppression is essential in these cases to ensure the functioning of the graft and also has an additional benefit in the ocular allergy. Pros lenses can improve the visual acuity, but it should be made sure that the fit is good so that there is no mechanical compression affecting the health of the limbal stem cells. Thank you.